Right, first thing, I don't want you to panic. This is a long video. However, the procedure to getting more than four save slots is so simple. The reason why this video is so long is that I do it in real time twice. But before that, I will give you a very simplified version so you might be off this video in five minutes. If this does help you out and you appreciate it, then consider subscribing to the channel. We're nearing 50,000, I'd love to get it before Christmas. Now I can only show you this fix on PlayStation 4 and PC, I don't have myself an Xbox, but it is so simple I'm pretty sure someone would be able to figure it out. The first person who uploads the Xbox One variant, please link it down in the comment section and I will pin it so it helps everybody. So here's the simplified version, the guys who are tech savvy will completely understand what I'm talking about and I'm really surprised that no one has figured it out beforehand. As you can see it's working, I've got five save slots here from a PlayStation 4 version. First off, if you haven't already, fill up your save slots. Use all four. Then what you want to do is head over into settings and then down here we have Application save data management. Following application will close, that's absolutely fine. So over here is where you can back up all your saves. You can save it up to PlayStation Plus if you have a membership. You can save it onto a USB flash drive. Pretty sure a hard drive works as well. Back up your career saves. This is super important. I'm not responsible for you deleting your career. Once that's all backed up, it's time to launch FIFA 19. Now that you're here, go to customize, profile, and then delete. We are now deleting these saves. Remember, we've got them backed up somewhere else. Once again, I've got to warn you, make sure you've backed these up. It is so important before you delete them. So when we go on to load career now, I think it'll only be the auto saves. There you go. Next step is to go to new career and make four more career mode saves. We'll use Macclesfield for this, doing a career mode with them at the moment. Please go check it out, it is all right, if I do say so myself. You only need to sit through this screen once, you can save up the exact same career in four different slots. Now we've backed up empty one to four, so we are gonna continue on that track and name these empty five to eight. Now if you only want eight save slots, you are almost there. We wanna go back into application save data management on your PS4. So we're bringing back those backed up career mode files. So for me, I saved them up on PlayStation Plus's cloud storage. There they are, empty one to four. You can download them now. They will save onto your console's hard drive. It's very easy on PC because you don't need an external drive. You can just stick them on your desktop and FIFA won't recognize the files because they're not in the right place. For those of you who are very happy with eight save slots, then you are done here. You can load up the game and it will have eight save slots. Might as well do that to show you. I think this is limitless though, so all you need to do is back up the eight saves that you've got already delete them from your game add another four and boom you've got 12. one last thing if you do screw up your save by doing this it's totally your own responsibility i will not be held accountable it really is very simple there you are eight save slots and they're all ready to be used now if you didn't quite catch that don't worry this is why this video is so long we have time codes in the description that will send you to the beginning of me doing this in real time on the pc and the playstation but for now it's time for me to quickly run through what you have to do on on the PC version. So this is how you quickly do it on the PC version. As you can see, not on FIFA right now. First thing to do is go to Origins Application Settings, Installs and Saves, Cloud Storage. Turn that off for a while. The directory for your FIFA 19 career mode saves is PC, Documents, FIFA 19, and then Settings, there they are. First thing to do for me though, is to delete some of the empty slots that I have, so that I'm aligned with you guys, and I have four save slots in total. I'm gonna be extra careful here, because if we go into load career, my proper career that we're doing on YouTube is right there. So if this clumsy idiot can get through this without deleting his own career mode save, then there's no reason why you can't either. Under Documents FIFA 19 Settings, I now have four career saves. Here, 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 and here. The ones with a capital A on the end are the auto save, so you don't need to back them up. I move them to the desktop, so they've already been removed from the Documents FIFA 19 Settings folder. So, 
let's open this back up making a new manager career latest squad they're being downloaded excellent i just use manchester united for this one pc takes a lot less time to load the entire thing up let's save it under a new name we've got empty one and two so now we need to do empty three to six i don't know why i'm using the controller i can just use the keyboard just to show you yes empty three to six so we have four new career mode files Drop the ones that we've saved onto the desktop back in. Play FIFA 19 again. Low career. What do you know? We now have eight. Eight slots right there. Finally, for those of you who really do like cloud storage, you can go ahead, go back onto the Origin app and turn back on cloud storage. When you first play the game, after you turn this option back on, it might prompt you if you want to use the old cloud files that you have saved up or the new local files always check the new local files click that but this is really only useful for people that are swapping from pc to pc the normal guy that only has one pc i, I don't think really needs the cloud storage unless you're resetting a pc but if you're resetting a pc then you back up your saves anyway right let's do this in real time on the playstation Four save slots, make sure you've used all your save slots because it means that you can get eight instantly after doing this trick. Okay, so I've got empty one to four because I don't use the PlayStation anymore. Um, not really too sure why people will want this real time tutorial, but I thought I might as well add it just in case someone was unsure about the backup procedure. So that's that. We need to close the application now. Go to settings. Here we go. Down to application saved data management. It will prompt you that the application is going to close. That's that's fine. That's fine. It only takes well a couple of minutes to load up. Not even that anymore. Used to take forever. Right. So we want to go to saved data in system storage because that is where your saves are at the moment. And then you want to upload to online storage or copy to USB storage device if you haven't got PlayStation Plus. It, it, both are very, very simple. Right, I'll show you the USB... Oh, I can't show you the USB storage thing. You really do need the USB storage device connected straight away. But you will be sent to a menu like this one right here. And you can see like... Right now, on the system, we've got 226 megabytes of FIFA 19 data. Down here, you've got your career modes, MT1, 2, 3, and 4 for me. Yours will obviously have different names. For USB flash, uh, flash devices and storage devices, this will say backup or save to a copy or something like that something of that sort for me because i'm using the playstation plus backup system it's just uploading to the cloud so just let it go you got 86 seconds left great time to take a drink I know this process is a bit time consuming at first, but it gets you your 8, 12, I think 16. I've not even tried it for like 16, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work for any number larger than 12. I've gone, I've gone up to 12 with no issues whatsoever. So that's that. If you want to check that you've done it right with... Um, with the PlayStation Plus, then you can go into save data in online storage, and then you can download to system storage, and then there you go, 75 megabytes, boom, they're all there. We're not downloading them just yet though. We're gonna load up FIFA 19 again. This is where the, the fun really begins. <laughs> it's so simple. I'm, I'm really surprised that, what, we're well over a month into this FIFA cycle and no one's, no one's thought about doing this. I'm, I'm shocked that no one's put out a tutorial yet. Well, whatever. 
it is what it is. I very much doubt people back up their saves on a regular regular occurrence. And to be honest, I figured out how to do this last year by just a total fluke, I think, on the on the PC version. Tried it on the PS4 a week ago just to make sure that this this video um, was able to be put out. And, and it worked perfectly, so there you go. I think I might have saved a lot of people's frustrations. A lot of people's anger can be directed at something else wrong with the game. So now that we've backed up them saves, we go to profile and then delete. Remember we have just backed these up, empty one to four. So we're gonna delete all these. Now apologies if I cough randomly or sneeze randomly in these real time videos. It's because I'm just getting over a flu or a cold, just a virus of some kind and it's been rough, it's been very rough on me. So if we go on to load career now, after doing this, there's only our auto saves which don't really count anyway. So, we go to new career. I'm going to do the exact same procedure as what I did just beforehand and I'm going to make empty slot 5 to 8. So here we are with our Macclesfield Townside. Once again, if you haven't seen that series, go and watch because it is quite funny. Just wait for this to load. This is this is the most boring part because you get you get so used to this little text, the teaser text that they always put on they don't change it at all uh, after after days of speculation thankfully loading up the first season doesn't take that long unlike, uh, unlike certain other seasons right save this as ooh empty Five. And then I think it goes on to the preseason tournament. It's declined that. Doesn't really matter. If you if you're gonna do it the exact same as me, you're just using these slots as empty anyway, so they will be used up by something way more important. So we'll just save this up. There's now empty six. Alright. <coughs> Empty seven. And finally. MT8. Right, we all happy at the moment. That's very straightforward. All we've done is upload four career uh, saves or backed up four career saves, deleted them in game. Don't worry, you have the backups in place. And then we've just made uh, four more career mode saves. So there's eight in total, but they're in different places at the moment. Now we're going to bring them b b back together. All right. So don't need this anymore. You can close application. Goes back to the menu. Settings. Application save data management. And now for me, I'm going to go in save data in online storage. If you've got it saved up onto a USB uh, device, then there it is. Use that. Uh, option instead download system storage boom bang 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 select all of them download so now empty one two three and four join the party 
And then I'll load up FIFA once again, show you that it's worked, and we will be all good. How about that? Didn't take that long, to be fair. I thought it was going to take at least 20 minutes, but my PlayStation's running pretty smooth today. It's fantastic. I mean, even with like one of the older PlayStations, you're not looking at anything over 20 minutes. And to see, to say that like, this is going to be like saving your life the entire year, I think you can dedicate 20 minutes into expanding your save slots, to be fair. Does take an age to load up though. Wish FIFA was a little bit more swift in loading. Down to this menu system. A menu screen. Play low career. And you'll see that we have eight slots available one two three four five six seven eight and that is the tutorial in real time for the playstation over let's go over to the pc version so we can do it on there of course if you want more than eight save slots you do the exact same thing you back up these eight saves somewhere else and then you make an extra four and that'll give you twelve you want even more than 12 you back up them 12 save files somewhere else make another four and you get 16 you know the drill it's very very straightforward but right now I think everybody will be very happy with eight however it's, it's right there if you want 12 okay just takes a little bit longer boys right Let's go on to the PC. All right, let's get on with this real-time version of the PC tutorial. First off, in the Origin application. You'll be greeted with this screen, but if you go on to Origin, Application Settings, then move over to Installs and Saves. You can see top cloud storage. Let's turn them off for now because we are going to mess around with the saves. The directory is here. This PC documents FIFA 19 settings. If you haven't messed about with it, when you'll know if you've messed about with it, your files will be in this directory. Okay? That's all good. Now we can go on to the game, I think. Wait, no, we, we don't need to go on to the game. Right? Hang on, no. We've got our four career saves here. Remember, it's the saves that have career and then not a capital A at the end because they are the auto saves. Okay, move them to desktop. So our saves are all nice and safe in the desktop. They've just been moved away from the FIFA 19 directory. All right, so we're gonna minimize that. I apologize that my desktop's a little bit of a mess, but I had a lot of things going on. So let's play FIFA 19. This loads up a little bit faster than the PS4 version, which is thankful. Here we go. Pretty sure by now, because this is the last part of the tutorial, uh, a lot of people ha un understand exactly what is needed. But, just to make sure, just to make safe. I know that a lot of people really do love career mode and they don't want anything to go wrong with their save files and if you follow what I do step by step usually in real time real time tutorials are really good for this then there won't be anything that goes wrong so if we go to low career 
you'll see that we've only got our auto saves at the moment head over to new career manager career advance and choose Manchester United there's no point of messing about with Macclesfield again I've already plugged that thing <laughs> advance look how quickly this loads compared to a console by the way it's it zooms through that stuff like butter all right save it up hopefully I can use a keyboard for this so MT I think we got I think it's MT1 and 2 with Macclesfield and Mac back so MT3 and then create a new career save MT4 all right and again save up MT5 save up yeah MT6 so that's our uh, saves all done you can back up now you can exit the entire game so simple all right go back onto the folder where we have four new career mode saves right there highlighted in blue drop your old ones back in now I won't be I won't be doing this tutorial if I didn't have complete faith that this works because my YouTube series is on one of them files I won't be risking it simply won't be risking it press play loads back up the dropping your files back onto the directory from the desktop All right. move the little mouse out of the way because it is irritating in the game it really is irritating in the game when the mouse pops up and you're like yeah go away <laughs> Alright, and then load curry up. And drum roll please, there they all are. All eight saves with the extra three auto saves. That's it, that's your lot. Hopefully that has helped you out big time. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this uh, incredibly long tutorial, but most of you won't get to this point anyway. Uh, much love, I, I hope it's helped, and if it has helped, then <coughs> you know what to do. I apologise, I've got a cough. I'm still getting over the flu. Um, you know what to do. Just subscribe and help me out as well. That'd be ace. All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, that's it. Fingers crossed. Just uh, comment down in the comment section, obviously, if this has helped you. And leave the video a thumbs up so a lot more people can be helped by this video as well. I'm out of here. See you in a bit.